today we are going to see the topic contents interval for population mean small samples inge small samples abbingirudhu n vandu less than or equal to 30 ah irundha the small sample solluva large sample ingirudhu n greater than 30 ah irundha so n greater than 30 ah irumbodhu nama normal test statistic use pannuvom small samples ku t f chi square idhula edhu venalum and the situation ku edha mari povom inge nama t tables vandu t test statistic use pannuvom 95% confidence limits for the mean in the population for small samples. So, T is the mean, X bar minus mu by S by root n, where X bar is the sample mean, mu is the population mean, S square is given by 1 by n minus 1 summation, Xi minus X bar the whole square. We get the 95% confidence limits for mu as X bar plus or minus T at 0.5 into S by root n. Where t at 0.5 is nothing but the t table value at n minus 1 degrees of freedom for alpha equal to 0.05. Similarly, the 99% confidence limits for population mean are x bar plus or minus t at 0.01 into s by root n. Where t at 0.01 is nothing but the t table value at n minus 1 degrees of freedom for alpha equal to 0.01. So, in the confidence limits, we will find out what it is. Exercise number 1. Random sample of 10 boys had the following IQs. Values put the rate. Find a reasonable range in which most of the mean IQ values of the samples of 10 boys lie. So, now we have the population mean range in the confidence limits. So, solution will be t equal to x bar minus mu by s by root 10 follows t with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. 95% confidence limits for the mean IQ values of the samples of 10 points are given by x bar plus or minus t at 0.05 into s by root 10. So, if we do what we do, we know x bar and s are known. 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 summation 1833.60 இது sum of the squares of the deviations from mean சொல்மோ அதைக் கண்டுவிட்டுக்கும் so s square equal to 1 by n minus 1 summation x minus x for the whole square 1 by n minus 1 உங்கள்து 1 by 10 minus 1 that is 9 மேல் numeratorல 1833.60 அது 9 divide பண்ணும்போது 203.73 வருது therefore root of s square by n என்னாம் root of 203.73 by 10 இதை வந்து divide பண்ணிட்டு root எடுத்தா 4.514 therefore 95% confidence limits for mu வந்து x bar plus or minus t at 0.05 into s by root 10 இந்த s by root 10 தான் நம்ம அட்டு புடித்து வெச்சிருக்கும் that is 4.514 so இதை சக்சுக் கொண்டும் t at 0.05 for 9 degrees of freedom அது வந்து நம்ம் table value t tableல பார்த்து அம்மதை இருக்கிறேனும் பார் 0.05 என்ன பார்க்கும் x bar வந்து 97.2 இல்லாத்தி சப்சுக் கொண்டும் so the confidence limits வந்து 97.2 plus or minus 2.262 into 4.514 so the ரண்டை மட்டிப்பைப் பம்பது 97.2 plus or minus 10.21 so left side ले नम्बर minus पढ़ना हो right side ले plus पढ़ना हो so 86.99 and 107.41 therefore 95% confidence interval is interval के एक बहुत bracket कर देना हो limits के एक बहुत इन दमारी तने तने या कर देना so 86.99 कमा 107.41 आज करता करने को आने हैं exercise number two ये random sample of 16 values from a normal population showed a mean of 41.5 inches and the sum of squares of deviations from this mean equal to 135 square inches. Obtain 95% and 99% confidence limits for the mean. Given t at 0.05 for 15 degrees of freedom equal to 2.131, t at 0.01 for 15 degrees of freedom equal to 2.94 cent. So, we will get n put to 16. அப்புக்கப்பரம் mean, x bar, sample நுடைய mean வந்து 41.5 புத்திருக்கு sum of squares of deviation from this mean இது 
the summation x minus x bar the whole square that is 135 95% confidence limit to get with the 99% confidence limit to get with the 2nd table values with the degrees of the 2nd table values with the table values of the 2nd table values now we will go to the exercise of the solution given x bar equal to 41.5 summation x minus x bar the whole square is 135 n equal to 60 if s square equal to 1 by n minus 1 summation x minus x bar the whole square that is 135 by 515 which is equal to 9 that implies s is equal to root 9 which is equal to 3 therefore s by root 10 equal to 3 by root 16 that is 3 by 4 which is 0 0.75 therefore 95% confidence limits for mu is x bar plus or minus t at 0 0.05 into s by root 10 above 41.5 plus or minus in the table value kuduthirukku 2.131 into the 0 0.75 இதை ரண்டை மட்டிப்பைப் பண்ணம் பொடுது 41.5 plus or minus 1.598 மருது left side limit வருது 39.902 and right side limit 43.098 அதை மாதி 99% confidence limits for new is x bar plus or minus t at 0.01 into s by root 10 இங்க 41.5 plus or minus t table value at 0.01 வந்து 2.947 into 0.75 so which is equal to 41.5 plus or minus 2 into 2, uh, 2 plus 2.2103 2 Our left side confidence limit for the 39.29 Adhe maari right side confidence limit for 43.7 So idu maari ponu Sample size are number careful and not ponu Yen on the less than or equal to 30 And the t table values are on the use ponu At the very maximum formula Ode maari da arugo and the yes will have the difference அடுது தி confidence interval for difference of standard deviations for large samples இப்பு large sample இங்கது n greater than 30 அப்பு confidence limits for difference between standard deviations of the population அப்பு z equal to s1 minus s2 divided by standard error of s1 minus s2 follows normal 0,1 நான் இங்க sigma 1 square sigma 2 square தெரியாது அது நான் estimates of the sigma square the estimates s1 square s2 square are used அப்பா இந்த பார்மிலா என்னாம் z equal to s1 minus s2 divided by root of s1 square by 2 n1 plus s2 square by 2 n2 follows normal with mean 0 and variance இதை யுச் பண்டுதான் இப்பு நாம் confidence interval படுப்பார் so exercise number 1 random samples drawn from 2 countries gave the following data relating to the heights of other domains country a country b mean height குத்துது 67.4 67.25 standard deviation which is level 2.5 by 2.50 number of samples 1000 1200 find 95 percent confidence limits for the difference of population standard deviations solution for the given n1 equal to 1000 n2 equal to 1200 s1 equal to 2.5 and s2 equal to 2.50 now 95 percent confidence limits for sigma 1 minus sigma 2 is s1 minus s2 plus or minus 1.96 root of s1 square by 2 n1 plus s2 square by 2 n2 the value is subsequent for on 2.58 minus 2.50 plus or minus 1.96 root of 2.58 the whole square by 2000 here are 2 n1 another 2000 plus 2.50 the whole square by 2400 if was 0 point c which is equal to 0 point 0 8 plus or minus 1.96 into root pula the square pannu pulldu 6.6564 by 2000 plus 6.25 by 2400 so divide pannu inadu kapram in the values pannu 0 point 0 8 plus or minus 1.96 root of 0 point 0 0 3 3 3 plus 0 point 0 0 2 6 the rende add pannu inadu root edu kapparam அப்போம் 0.08 plus or minus 1.96 into root of 0.00593 இதுக்கு root எடுக்கும் வந்து இந்த value 0.08 plus or minus 1.96 into 0.7701 இந்த ரண்டை மாட்டிப்பே பண்ணும் வந்து 0.08 plus or minus 1.5094 so left side confidence limit அது 90% confidence limit சார் left sideல 0.08 இவுந்து minus 1.5094 பண்ணுக்கும் minus 1.4294 இந்த right sideல add பண்ணிக்கு போரும் அப்போ 1.5894 so the confidence 95% confidence limits for s1 for sigma 1 minus sigma 2 or that is difference between standard deviation or minus 1.4294 and 1.5894 so இது மாதிர்ந்தான் நம்மா போடம் 
question is number two. <clears throat> Given the following data regarding the wages uh, per hour in two plants, plant A, plant B, sizes are the 150, 200, standard deviation 1.28, 1.08, find 99% confidence limits for sigma 1 minus sigma 3. Solution only N1 equal to 150, N2 equal to 200. S1 equal to 1.28 and S2 equal to 1.08. Now 99% confidence limits for sigma 1 minus sigma 2 are S1 minus S2 plus R minus 2.58 into root of S1 square by 2N1 plus S2 square by 2N2. Yeah, in the number the 2.58 normal tables for the grand is not what one are in N1 and 2 are large, they are large samples. 1.28 minus 1.08 plus or minus 2.58 root column 1.28 the whole square by 2 n 1 by 2 into 150 300 plus 1.08 the whole square divided by 2 into 200 that is 400. Then the root to pull the values of other simply you know, so 0 0.2 plus or minus 2.58 root square is 1.6384 by 300 plus 1.1664 by 400. The divide pani, add to root About 0.2 plus or minus 2.58 root of divide pani 0.00546 plus 0.002916. So the add pani 0.2 plus or minus root of 58 root kula 2.58 root kula 0.008376. So, if you look at the 0.2 plus or minus 2.58 into the root value 0.09152. So, if you look at the multiply by 0.2 plus or minus 0.23611. Therefore, 99% confidence limits for sigma 1 minus sigma 2 are subtract from the mother mother 0.2 minus 0.2361 or minus 0.0361. And right side limit is add from the Upper 0 0.4361. So the 99% confidence limits for the difference between standard deviations are minus 0 0.0361 and 0 0.4361. So this is the model size of the sample mean of difference between means are single mean difference between standard deviation and n and n and put the common path to decide n when the greater than or 30 are not large samples n less than or equal to 30 are small samples use for t tables use for small samples king a large sample for the normal test normal table model values so in the video like share comment subscribe thank you